If you're one of the millions of Canadian taxpayers using TurboTax to file and you've got crypto investments, this video is for you. Hello, my name is Nelly and today we'll be talking about how to file your crypto taxes with Coinly and TurboTax Canada. Okay, so Coinly is a crypto tax calculator that helps you do your taxes fast. The best part is that Coinly integrates super well with a stack of crypto platforms and it works automatically with accounting apps like TurboTax Canada. We've got a ton of videos on getting started with Coinly that you can check out separately, but to get started, you'll need your tax report from Coinly. If you're not already set up with Coinly, it's as simple as connecting your wallets and exchanges using the API or by uploading CSV files of your transaction history. Once Coinly has all your information, it calculates your gains, losses, income, and more. And you'll be able to preview some of this in your tax summary. So scroll down to download your report. You'll need a paid Coinly plan if you don't already have one, and this will let you download as many reports as you need to file for this tax year. Okay, from the drop down menu, select complete tax report and download the report. Once you've got your report, it's time to switch over to TurboTax Canada. To get set up with TurboTax, you'll need to provide your personal information as well as your income and other investments relative to your circumstances. We're only looking at filing crypto in this video, so make sure you fill out TurboTax as you need to otherwise. Please also note that your province may have additional reporting requirements we do not cover in this general guide. Once you've added your relevant personal information into TurboTax, you can get started by filing your crypto taxes. There are two sections you need to report, your capital gains and losses from crypto and your income from crypto. We'll start with capital gains and losses. Okay, in the search bar, search and select capital gains and capital gains deduction. Okay, on this page titled your capital gains profile for 2024, check the box next to sold stocks, crypto, bonds, real estate, other capital property, or sold qualified small business corporation shares. You should check any other boxes as relevant to your investments. Okay, select continue. You'll be taken to the capital gains page in TurboTax now. Okay, many of the boxes you'll see on this page don't need to be filled out for cryptocurrency gains. They apply to other kinds of capital assets instead. As well as this, there are some other sections that may apply to your unique circumstances that you may need to complete. For example, the percentage claimed on a spouse's return, if applicable, may apply to you. You can learn more about that in our spouse guide. Okay, from the drop down menu, next to type of capital property disposed of, select crypto assets. If you dispose of a different type of crypto asset, you may need to split your transactions and report these separately. Okay, copy the figure next to proceeds from sales from the capital gain summary section of your Coinly crypto tax report, and then paste it to proceeds of disposition box in TurboTax. Okay, then copy the figure next to acquisition costs from the capital gain summary section of your Coinly complete tax report and paste it into the adjusted cost base box in TurboTax. If you have allowable expenses, copy the figure next to total from the expenses section of your Coinly uh, complete tax report and paste it into the outlays and expenses box in TurboTax. However, it's important to note here that you should check that your expenses are allowable expenses according to the CRA's guidance as not all expenses are deductible. Okay, for date of disposition, you can aggregate your transactions for a specific date, for example, 31 slash 12. And this field is mandatory as originally the capital gains inclusion rate was going to increase from June 2024 to two thirds for taxpayers with more than 250,000 gains annually. This was later deferred to January 1st, 2026. Okay, select done. On the page titled capital gain summary, fill out the fields as they pertain to your circumstances. And then once again, select done. TurboTax will now calculate your capital gains based on the figures you've entered. Just double check this against the figures in your complete um, tax report. You should also check and correct other information on the page as it applies to your circumstances. When you're done with that, select done. Okay, if you have capital gains or losses from other sources, you should report them in this section as well. Let's talk about crypto income. For crypto income, you'll need the income summary section of your complete tax report. This shows you a breakdown of your crypto income as well as a total figure for your crypto income. Okay, in the search bar, select other income. Enter a description for your income. For example, you can put something like staking rewards. Copy the figure next to the total in the income summary section of your Coinly complete tax report. 
Paste this figure into the amount box next to your description and select continue and you're done. And as an important note here, if you have mining rewards or other business income, you may need to file a T2125 form instead. You should definitely speak to a accountant for advice on your situation. Okay, once you've reported your relevant crypto transactions and reviewed the rest of your TurboTax information, that's it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. I'm going to leave our resources linked in the description below, as usual, including our help center, feedback forum, and how to contact our customer support team if you need help with your Coinly account.